Hello everyone and welcome to Simple Living. This is a yoga class. We're going to do some difficult yoga moves, but we're going to do a lot of easy yoga moves. So this class is for everyone. I'd like you to join along with me. Uh, every time you see me on TV, <laughs> come along and join us because the more movement that we get out of our bodies, the better. So I want you to move right with me. Hunger exists in every county in America. More than one in five children are at risk. Armstrong continues to create awareness in our communities through Breaking Bread, our initiative to provide resources to food pantries and soup kitchens. Here's how to help. Stop by your local Armstrong office and donate non-perishable food items. Attend special Breaking Bread events held in your area or volunteer at your local food bank. For more information, visit us at armstrongonewire.com slash breaking bread. Everything that I'm doing, you should be able to do right along with me. I'm hoping that um, nothing will be too hard for you. It'll be simple. You probably will need a chair to sit in. Or maybe you can use the couch as well, because we will be doing some standing exercises. But this is called chair yoga that you're doing now. We're going to have a good time with it. I hope that you'll enjoy it as well as I do. And uh, we're going to have some fun with it. We're going to get you in shape. You know, it's very important that you exercise every day. Every day. So I, I'll be on here again and uh, join me again. If you can't get at that time, get at another time and join uh, right in with the exercise. Uh, you're meant to move. The body is meant to be mo in movement. And this is going to keep you going and keep you in movement. Now, we're all in the same age group, folks. So we're going to have a lot of fun together and we're going to hopefully enjoy this program. I'm sure you're familiar with this little song, Sunny Side of the Street. Let's just start warming up by tapping toes. Very good. Keep going. Now lift your body up. Now take those toes out and in. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Can you hear that bit of now let's bang those heels. That happy now you feel that little step. tension going up your Life leg. So That's a good thing. We're building some muscle and we're also building some bone. Now pump it up and march and pump up those arms. We're warming up. Now I'm not afraid. This rover Four. Three, two, and one. Now we're gonna push and pull. Push and pull. Opening the back, now the chest. Think of lifting that chest up. Very good. Four more. And three. And two. And one. Elbows glued to your waist, palms facing one another. Open and close. Now, if you have any rotator cuff problems, you may find that this is a little bit limiting. So only go as far as you can go. But I want you to give it a try. This is very important exercise, and it's for that rotator. Four, and three, two, and one. Good job. Now punch and punch. Your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Punch and punch. Direct your feet to the sunny side. Four, three, two, and one. Let's get some stretches in here. After all, we are doing yoga. One hand reaches for the floor, the other one toward the ceiling. Open up that underarm if you're able. Couple more. In the shade. One more. Good job. And now just press forward, opening up that back a little bit more. Keep going. Now reach across your body. Feel that nice stretch in your spine and in your back. Push. Push. Press. 
the palm is flat, and we're reaching out. One more. Very good. Now heel and bring that toe under your chair. Heel and toe. Heel and toe. Moving that knee around. I know a lot of us have knee problems as we mature. Isn't that a good word, mature? I like that word. And now the other leg. Heel and toe. And get couple your more. Leave your worries on the Good job. Step. Now slide on up just on that chair feet. just a little bit because now we're going to work on your abdominals. Your Cross your hands and right here over your chest and lean back as far as you can. When you lean back, exhale. So Good job. Keep going. Lean back. As soon as you feel yourself tapping that chair, come forward. But you want to get back a little bit. And now twist and lean back. Now we're working obliques. That's kind of the natural girdle of the body. Those obliques are going to hold you up tight, steady. One more. Good. And now let's twist in the opposite direction. Lean back. Here's two, three, couple more, one more, very good. And now just lean all the way back, lift and lower, lift and lower. Can you raise your arms as you lift, 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 lift. Let's try one more. Now we're gonna bend that knee and press it out. Bring it in and out, in and out. Oh, this is a good one. This is a tough one, isn't it? Release, bring it down. Lift, extend, bend, extend, bend. Four, couple more. And six, good job, put them down. Hands are right here on your knees. Now lean forward as far as you can and press up. Lean forward and back up again. Lean forward, back up. One more. And now both hands on one leg. Down, down and press up. You can use your hands to help press you back up again. Exercising this spine is very, very important. And now over to the other side and bring that body right over your leg. And side to side again, lifting that hip we're preparing to lift us off the chair. And what we're going to be doing with this lifting you off the chair, the day will come, it might take us a few weeks, but the day will come when you're going to be able to get off your chair without holding on. I know, I know you don't believe me, but it's gonna happen. Now right here, I know that you like to use your arms when you lift up. But you know when you use your arms to press down this, the shoulders are not a weight-bearing joint. So if this is not a weight-bearing joint, why are we pushing down to get ourselves up? Hopefully, I will make you strong enough so that you'll be able to use your quadriceps to get up and down. Now, all I want you to do here is place your hands on your knees and just lift your hips off your chair, okay? Lift your hips and put them down. Lift your hips and put them down. I know some of you can only do a couple of these, but that's okay. Do as many as you can. We're gonna try eight today. And then as we progress, we're gonna do more. I know, 
You're gonna feel it right here. Couple more, please. One more. And now come all the way up and circle those shoulders back. That's it. Doesn't that feel good? <sighs> Open up. Open up your chest. Open up. Feel those shoulders rotating. And now a backstroke. Reach and reach. Backstroke. Reach. As we progress, I'm going to be showing you more and more things to do so you won't have all this pain. You know, movement will decrease your pain. You've got to keep moving, though. And now just take a swim. I can remember swimming down at Bort's Pool on the west side. I'm from, I'm from the west side originally, Cheney. I went to Cheney High School. I'm not going to tell you the class I graduated with, though, because you'll figure out how old I am. <laughs> and swing free. Soften out your knees. Just swing free. One more. And relax. Good. Now, if you're able, I'd like you to walk around behind your chair. Now, if you have uh, a couch, you can also get behind the couch. We're going to stand nice and tall, up on the toes and down. This is going to give you a sexy calf. So when you put on your high heels, ha ha ha, when you put on your high heels, you're going to be able to go ahead and that calf's sexy. <laughs> and relax. Now take this leg straight back, if you're able, straight back. You're going to feel right here. So if you have pain in your lower back, this is going to help you with that pain in your lower back. Lift it up. Lift up that leg. Lift it up. One more, one more. And put it down. Now let's try the other leg, standing on one leg, okay? Lift. Lift. Raise your chin a little bit. Lift. 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 One more. Good job. Now we're going to be working on this rear bicep right here. So take the leg out a little bit, flex your foot, and bring your heel up toward your buttocks. Lift. 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 Four more of these. Come on, you can do this. I know it feels tight right here. Two, and one. Relax, and let's do the next leg. Bring it back, flex, and bring that heel as close to your hips as you can. Three, raise your chest. Four, five, breathing. And now touch step. Now what this one's going to help with is balance. Side to side. You know, when you get outside and you want to take a walk down the driveway, if the cement's not even, you might trip. So you want to be able to have some good balance so that you can recover. Tapping side to side. And now hold it here as you come up to your toe. Good job. We're making those legs much stronger, and that's what's all about with balance. That's what's going to help you with balance, keeping those legs strong. Hold it here, stepping behind your chair again, and just simply lift out to the side. Now we're standing on one leg. That might be a little bit difficult for some of us. So you can go ahead and put that leg down when you need to. You can only do a couple of these. That's okay. But it's going to help you with your balance. And now that other leg. Straight out. Straight out to the side. Wonderful. 
Two more. Ah, oh, you're doing great. Now we're gonna take this chair and turn it around because we're gonna do a little bit of a yoga move. Let's stretch up overhead. Step back and away from your chair just a little. Lean forward, place your hands on your chair. Now this emulates down facing dog. Step one leg back and then the other and drop your head. At the same time, lifting your hips toward the ceiling. I want you to feel that really deep stretch in the backs of your knees. Hold on, hold on. Lifting those hips even higher. Step up, step up, and roll back up again. Wonderful. Turn your chair so that you're facing the TV and you can see what I'm doing and have a seat. Good job, everybody. Wonderful. Now, I have here, this is a yoga belt, but you can also use, just grab your husband's belt or, or your partner's belt and grab a, put it underneath your foot. These are very important exercises because they're resistance exercises and they're leg exercises. Again, scoot out to the edge of your chair Bring those, bring that knee up, bend it, and press, and pull, and press. Now, if you've ever, ever had any physical therapy, I bet you've done this stretch in your physical therapist's office. Press and pull. Now, press again, and lift it as high as you can comfortably. Press through your heel, hold it, hold it, hold it, and now bring it side to side. Cross it over if you can. Bring it left of center and right of center if you can. Press, press. Bend that knee again, put it down, and let's try the same thing on the other leg. We're gonna get a little harder with this one. As time goes by, bend the knee, press. In and out, press. Work against that resistance. Pull it in, press it out. Work against the resistance, okay? We're building strength. Now hold it here and bring it out and across. Good job, everybody. Out and across, out and across, out and across. One more, wonderful. Put that leg down, a little bit of a break here, a little bit of a rest, and bring this underneath the other foot. Now point and flex, point and flex. Point the toe, now stretch the heel. Point and flex, point and flex, one more. Point and flex, wonderful. And now bring it underneath the other foot. Lift it up, right at the arch. Point and flex, point and flex. Three and flex, four, five, six. Wonderful, wonderful. Put it down and allow that band or that belt over to the side. Don't worry about it. Grab hold on the back of your chair. Open up your shoulders and lean slightly forward. Feel those so shoulder blades pinching behind you, okay? Okay, hold on, hold on. Lean a little bit forward, a little bit forward, a little bit forward. Hold it right there. Wash your hands. They might be a little, feel a little tight right now because we've been using that band and that belt. So they may feel a little bit tight. So want to relax them a little bit just by washing them. Open up your hands wide. Make a fist. Open up wide. Make a fist. Open wide. A fist. Open. Close. And circle those wrists. 
and circle opposite. Good job. Now, if you suffer from carpal tunnel, this might be a little bit difficult one to do, but it's going to help your carpal tunnel. So open up, open up your hands, and then curl them. Eventually, we're going to get ourselves some weights. We could even use a tin can. And using those tin cans or, or, or light weights, one or two pounds, we're going to go ahead and develop some strength, some muscle. The more muscle you have in your body, the better it is. And now in prayer position, hold it here. Thumbs to the ceiling and thumbs facing you. Thumbs to the ceiling. Now, if, you, if this bothers your wrists or if it hurts a little bit, don't do it. Anything that I do that, that you can feel, that you can feel like it's pulling a little bit or it's too much, don't do it. You know your body way better than I do. Hold right here, press. So you know what you're capable of, you know what you're able to do, and we're doing quite a few different exercises here. Side to side. Back to center, good job. Slide back into your chair a little bit, very good. Inhale deeply through your nose and then hold that breath. And then bring it out for about a six count. Inhale deeply and hold for four. Exhale, F for six. Inhale four, exhale six. Now this one's for your neck, the muscles in your neck. Just turn side to side as much as you can, as if, as if you're looking over your shoulder. Side to side. Should feel good. Lift your chin. Good job. And now ear to shoulder. 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 Good. Now ear to shoulder and hold it there. Taking the same hand as where you're leaning toward and bring it to your temple, right in the front of your ear. And very gently drop this other arm and bring that neck over. This is gonna to help to strengthen your neck. It's gonna help you to get rid of headaches and take that away. And now ear to shoulder again. Ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. Hold it here, take your opposite hand and bring it to the temple. And very gently pull your ear toward your shoulder. Wonderful, hold it, hold it. Oh, it should feel so good. Take it away. And now turn your head, looking behind you. Looking behind you. Looking behind you. Looking behind you. Hold it here. Take that opposite hand and bring it behind your ear. Now gently pull your chin toward your chest, feeling that stretch all the way down your back. Take the hand away. Turn your head. Bring your chin to your chest. Take the opposite hand and bring it behind your ear. Gently pull your chin toward your chest. Hold it, hold it, hold it, and relax. And now circle that nose up. Now, if you've ever done yoga before, I'm sure you've heard that word, namaste, okay? Namaste in Sanskrit, Sanskrit means the soul in me honors and respects the soul in you. So at the end of a yoga class, we all say namaste to one another because the soul in me honors the soul in you. Place your hands together. Namaste. 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 
Stretch tall. Reach up, reach up. Look at your hands. Lean slightly back. Oh boy, I love the way that feels. Really opens up my spine. Drop forward. Now raise the arms up, stretching the back and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. Roll on up, chin to chest. Ah, that's good. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste, everybody. Namaste. Are you moving at the speed of business? File transfers, multiple locations, video chat. Companies these days are using more data than ever, and it's got to be fast. With gigabit internet from Armstrong Business Solutions, you can keep up with a pack no matter what size your company is. We can provide your business a reliable connection to our advanced fiber optic network with speeds from 100 megs up to 10 gigs per second. Get your business in the fast lane. Armstrong Business Solutions. Your business is our business. Thank you everyone for joining me today in our yoga class. We're going to be doing this a number of times, so I hope that you will join me each and every time on Simple Living. Thanks.